Mina, konnichiwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, with my friend! Ah. Yeah, the Nyan Cat, in human form! Can I just get a Pop-Tart and tape it to my face? I'd rather see rainbows blasting out your ass. Why do you want to see my ass, bro? Relevant to the discussion we're having, homosexuality! <laughs> I, was, I was wondering if you were going to plug that or not, but... Plug that? <laughs> I see you caught that one, too! These videos Boy, are no yes. holds barred, and these, I was just discussing off camera, these are the kind of videos that I really want to make and put out on my YouTube channel. Yes, I want entertainment, yes, I want fun stuff, yes, I want Dark Souls! Dark Souls! And I want good old traditional Christian sermons, but I also want to talk about issues that don't normally come up even in the public light. Um, I'm sure they can be found on YouTube, and I'm sure people will discuss them. I will admit I haven't actively looked for them. I've looked for a few debates and theology, but I've never found anything quite along the lines of the stuff that we're talking about here. Maybe I'll look them up uh, after this video. But even if they do exist, more focus on the topic is never bad. Um, and that's and, the thing. And, Pete, and, and the biggest thing is, as people, especially citizens of the United States, we're allowed to freely discuss our opinions openly and publicly. And that's the thing. We're talking about some pretty deep shit. Uh, the last two episodes yeah. have been rather, they've gotten to some dark points. They have. Um, and, and, but I don't think that constitutes that they shouldn't be talked about. There are, some, there are things that need to be held in the public eye for long enough to make a coherent discussion on it. Um, no matter how dark and depraved humanity can be sometimes, it needs to be talked about. Um, and more voices on that subject are, I would say, never a bad thing. Um, barring like, some hate speech. I'll say, it's kind of like what I said over, earlier, everyone should form their own opinion, through exactly. their own study, through, through their own thought processes. Obviously, it's going to be influenced by parents, environment, culture, etc. Right. But you should come to a point where, even though you have presuppositions and you have a worldview, your opinion is still your opinion. You're not being force-fed by your parents, by your pastor, by your spouse, definitely not by your children. Good gosh, don't let your children run over you. That's a complete tangent, but just saying. Um, from a single guy to the rest of you guys... Don't be ruled by your parents. Hey, from this person that doesn't have kids, let me teach you how to train your kids. Exactly. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you how to train your kids. I'm just telling you, don't how be... How to train your dragon. Don't be trained by your kids. Uh, you're the parent. You can also train a dragon. And you, can a couple on. you should train a dragon. Those Dragons are, are fucking cool. Those are a lot of fun to train. They're really awesome. Yeah. Personal experience here. Um, and that is... Maybe like a Charizard. The, <laughs> and the point he made about social discussion... And talking about deep stuff, if I was ever to find any fault in Mark Senpai and the good he's doing in this world, it would be the lack of discussion of serious topics. I have a question. Is Mark Senpai a Christian? To my knowledge, he is not. Um, he's definitely openly for the LGBT movement um, and those people. And I was he, wondering. I have no and idea. he also referred to Duck Dynasty in very, very unfriendly terms. Like, like, well, that's just because it's a shitty show, probably. Well, it could be that, but um, and he, it is a shitty show. I, he, I don't think he does not strike me as a Christian. However, I haven't heard a public stance from him on religion. Pootie Pie's openly said he's agnostic. So, yeah. Um, and I that to my team. Jack Septicai has said that he is. I want to say he said he's atheist. Um, Markiplier has not. He leaves politics and religion out of his conversations altogether. Um, he actually said he is purposefully not involving himself in politics because he actually wants to make a difference in the world. <laughs> good humor. That's funny. It's good humor, and it's completely and totally wrong. Politicians are the ones who move the physical world. When they speak, when they pass laws, those laws come into effect, and the world is transformed literally when they write those laws. And as those laws are enforced by police officers, he will be one one day, etc., um, the politicians have direct effect over society. So when he said it was, it was good humor, I laughed when he said it. How often you said it? Obvious, and it, 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 but it, should, it shouldn't be taking anything more than that. It's humor, and it's completely not true as a fact. Right. Um, and if there was any fault, it would be the lack of discussing subjects like these. And I'm not faulting you, Mark, if you somehow ever see this video. This is not, I'm not faulting you, I'm not blaming you. I'm simply saying what you have is a piece of the puzzle, humanitarian work, giving, charity, things I want to involve myself in once I have more of a voice on YouTube. Uh, if these videos don't completely destroy that potential. One other aspect to solving the world's problems is calling out the bullshit, calling out the wrongs. 
And if Christianity is one of those wrongs, if conservatism is one of those wrongs, it needs to be called out. It needs to be called out for the wrong and the evil that it is. Um, if agnosticism or atheism is wrong, if they're depriving people of, a, of an eternity and a future with God in person, they need to be called out on their wrong. They need to be told that they're incorrect. True. And that there is a wonderful future ahead of them if they will open their eyes and believe. What this means overall is that all topics need to be open for public discussion. Abortion, homosexuality, pedophilia, religion, all types of religion including fundamentalist groups of all religious persuasions. They need to be in the public <clears throat> forum. They need to be openly discussed. And I say, may the best one win. You want to know what else needs to be openly discussed? To mm -hmm. go ahead and go out on a humor note here before we start getting into some depressing shit. Yeah. This needs to be discussed publicly. I want you to see this shit. Look at this. This giant fucking comfy as fuck chair, right? So awesome. Where are my fingers? I can't even get this right. This is what I have... My YouTube You're a channel, bastard. my chair, I paid for all this setup. Mine, mine, I tell you. I'm such a good, generous, benevolent Christian. <laughs> How three-year-old childlike of you. Oh, I was about to draw. I was about to talk about pedophilia. That was a really bad inroad. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, no, you didn't. Uh, but, How? But I did want, I wanted to ask you, because you said as far as homosexuality, you really didn't have much more to bring to the table. Yeah, I, I mean, like... As far as, like, points? I think you have more points once I draw them out of you. Probably, I just don't feel like mentioning them. Or they haven't we've, come to my mind at this point. We've talked about how the act itself is a choice. The, the real question lies in the desire. Is the desire a choice? Right. Born with? And a third option that hasn't been talked about it to this point, developed. So my question to you would be, I framed homosexuality as far as being born with it, as far as desire, and how in the back... Because you, your primary question was back in the olden days, why would you choose something so obviously wrong? Well, we have a modern-day parallel to that in pedophilia. Yeah. So what I want to I frame the question to you this way, are pedophiles born that way, or is it a choice? And we're talking about the desire. Mm. You see, now I'm turning the yeah. question on you right. in a way that is relevant oh, to, yeah, to today. And especially considering some of the... I kind of hope you never had those calls at the same time. We need good men on shit like that. So I'm kind of torn. I'm not sure where I want you. Of course, that's um, your choice, not mine. Well, to, pr to preface this statement with a response to what you just said. Um, I, in no part want any of that to happen. Obviously. You know, I, I, those are all horrific acts. Yeah. And I I would do everything in my power. And I assume a lot of people do everything in their power that are much better than me to stop this. Yeah. But, that being said, if I was put in a position where I got to help a child that has been victimized by this, I would gladly do it. Yeah. Oh, Even yeah. if it scarred me for the rest of my life, but I got to help that person. Yeah, I, it's not even... I, it, it doesn't take me a heartbeat to decide that. I, yeah. I would do it right off the bat. And, I, and I, there, like I said, there are tons of people like that. And there are tons of people that are much, much better than me that are like that. You know, officers out there right now, they're doing it. Yeah. And they're... Most, it's the SVU, right? What? Special Victims Unit. Yeah, they, they're part of it. Um, as for the first responders, it's a lot of times it is police. Because that isn't necessarily included in the call. They, they hear of a disturbance and they walk in on it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I hope I never have to see it. But if I do, well, it's part of the course. And I'm willing to accept that part. Yeah. If necessary. Um, now, as for a response uh, to your question on is it a choice, um, I would say no. I would similarly say that the way their brain functions, the way their synapses fire, that gives them an, attract an, an attraction to children, is outside of their control. I, w I would say that as well. So The desire to do it, now I, I, I would say, is outside of their control. As for the action itself... 
just as we said, that's where... It, even we heterosexual males can't heterosexual control our urges. Can't control them. Um, <clears throat> now, that now, now, thought policing doesn't exist. Thank God. Someone cannot be tried or sentenced for their desires, for their thoughts. That's why... You know, if you see an attractive person walking down the street, and you lust for them, whether you're a man or a woman, whether that's a man or a woman, whatever, you lust for them, that's not legal. What's legal yeah. is when you start raping. Yes. The actions are illegal, the thoughts are not. Um, while I would say those thoughts are disgusting, in terms of pedophilia, and I would say you're a dis- very fucking disturbed person, and you need to get help. As for the thoughts themselves... I would say they're outside of their control. And the reason I would say that is because they would require help. Psychiatric help. Yes. They, if someone's attracted to children, I doubt everyone that has an attraction to children, I doubt every pedophile out there wants to be. You know, I, I can guarantee you, and it's the same thing with gay people, I can guarantee you there are some people like that, whether it's the situation they're in or whether they see it as wrong, whatever. I guarantee you there are people out there that wish that they weren't attracted to children, wish they weren't attracted to people of the same sex, and they can't really stop that. Uh, they can get psychiatric help, so they, you know, they can see a psychiatrist if it's something they want to do. Sometimes that can lead to something, sometimes it can't. Um, I will say those camps that uh, their goal is to turn gay people straight, um, they're generally Christian camps. Uh, I would yeah. say, in my personal opinion, those camps are fucked. Um, I'm not a huge fan. Because rather than try and help the person, whether you, whether you see, whether you see that as, or, as being wrong or not is relatively irrelevant. Because if they want to not be that way, whether it's wrong or not, you can't tell them they're wrong for not wanting to change. Um, <clears throat> so when they're put in that situation... Rather than see, rather than get the help they're seeking, they're simply berated with how wrong and bad they are. I think that's pretty fucked up. You should actually try to help the person, not just make them feel shitty. Um, I don't have much knowledge. I've I've briefly heard of these change camps. Yeah. Um, I usually think of like some kind of personal transformation in the form of like your pastor or a counselor. Um, but I've heard of these camps. I don't know the details. I don't know much. I don't know much about I, them, though. They're not the nicest place. Like I said, they you you don't. You've heard bad. You don't get much help. Okay, so you, you, they, they don't do much to change your mind, more than berate you with how evil with how and evil and disgusting it is. They don't really do much to try and change you. They just try and instill in your psyche that you're fucked. That's basically all they do, from what I've heard. Okay. Um. But, yeah, I mean, like I said, I would say that it's beyond their control. Um, and for pedophiles, perhaps they should seek some kind of psychiatric help to try and change that. Whether they can or can't, that may be outside of anyone's control as well. But, like I said, it's the action to the point where it becomes illegal. Now, this, that was a pretty good lead into the next question. We've kind of gotten a third camp here. Yes. Or at least I have um, in the I, middle of this discussion. I think I think another thing of the same thing. We're not just the we've talked about are you born this way or is it a choice? What hasn't been discussed, and I'm glad I gave all the details I did earlier that I did. What happens in those formative years? Not born with, not a choice, but something happened along the way that gave you a predisposition, whether it be to whether it be a pedophilia, <coughs> homosexuality. I would consider both. Now, and I would consider they're both different sexual acts. I would consider them both bad, okay. sinful acts. Well, taking the morality out of it, for just for the moment, so we can simply look at this objectively and as scientifically and yeah. factually as we can. Taking the morality out of it. Um, this includes the Christian, by the way. I'm trying to do that. I'll, I'm not sure how knowledgeable you are on the topic. I honestly don't know, um, but. Me being involved in a lot of criminal justice stuff, I, I've learned some of this. Yeah. Uh, if a child is a subject of a child predator, 
if a child is molested, their chances of becoming a pedophile their chances of skyrocket. becoming a pedophile skyrocket, and that's because something that traumatic happening at such a developmental age can cause something in their psyche to break. Yeah, it can fuck them up. Yeah. Um. A sim- uh, now, I haven't looked into many studies on whether homosexual acts can cause that because that's not a legal issue. The only reason I know about the pedophile thing is because it is a legal issue and that's how I'm aware of it. Um, but I would say that if you are a child growing up in a strictly Christian home, strictly far right wing anti-homosexual home, and you're a child growing up in a atheist left wing home. It's odd how things can happen. Because it would seem on the on the on the surface that alright, you grow up in a home where you're constantly told that this is wrong, your chances of doing it are less likely. You grow up in a home where you're where you're constantly told that this is okay, your chances of doing it go up. Um but there also comes the point of and this doesn't really happen that much with the left wing liberals. Uh this tends to happen much more often in the right-wing Christian homes. Um, and I'm a subject of this in a different form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the point of, if you are berated with something so much, you could eventually grow a hate towards it. You know, like, you go to despise that. For example, I'm not equating this to myself in, in a homosexual way at all. Yeah. I'm saying I grew up in a very Christian home. I grew up in a Christian school with a Christian family. Don't get me wrong, I don't have a problem with Christian. Obviously not. You're like one of my best friends. <laughs> um, but Which is awesome. with it being drilled into my head for 14 years, I got kind of sick of it. And so for the moment, I have delved away. And I've decided I don't want to be a part of that anymore, especially because I saw a lot of hypocrisy. I was about to say there's there's another reason. Yeah, especially that, because I saw a lot you of hypocrisy. became so estranged to Christ and the church. Um, I saw a lot of hypocrisy, and I didn't want to be affiliated with that. But I, I can see someone who is a homosexual. Uh, you know, whether it is something that they formed developmentally, whether it's something that they were born with, since this is up for debate. As they are growing up, and they're constantly berated with. Being gay is an abomination, you know, if, if, you know, God, you know, depending on what part you're going, if you grow up near Westboro Baptist Church, you're told God hates you, God hates bags, shit like that. Really fucked up stuff. If they're told that, as they are developing, they could grow a distaste for that and go, well, fuck you, I'm gonna do what I want. And so part of that could stem from wanting to rebel, uh, but... I would say that most of the cases were something that had to do with their psych, with their brain when they were born. I mentioned at the end of the last video that people with homosexual brains tend to have brain functions that are similar to that of the other gender that is that is heterosexual. Like gay men tend to have feminine constructed brains. Um, I'm not sure how that can have been developmentally. I would, I would like to see a study where they took a child who was a victim of child abuse. Uh, you know, and don't take that the wrong way. I, no, 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 no. I'm get, I'm, let me finish the sentence before you take this. I would like to see a study where they, they, they uh, ask someone who was a victim of that when they were a child. Or not ask, but see whether their brain also was feminine. You know, see if their brain had physical changes... Or if it was simply their synapses firing differently. I would really be interested to see that. Not, that. not to say that I want that to ever happen to anyone. If that could happen right now, you know, we're like, we're like we, that never happens again, and we just never get that study. Fuck that knowledge. Happens. Fuck that information. Yeah, no, I, I, if, if that's that what that. it takes, I don't want to know. But if we, get, if we happen to get the opportunity, God forbid, where we come across a victim of that, and we can see if their brain is physically changed or simply, like I said, synapses firing differently. Yeah. I would be interested to see that. Um, but, but, you know, once again, if that could just stop right now and we never get that information, 
I would take that any day. Yeah. But. So I get to um I actually know that the I don't feel like the topic is wrapped up. I still feel like there we can go a little bit deeper. And okay. I would and I would like to. Um okay. I wanna go ahead and keep going. It's as far as the as far as the birth, the formation, and the choice, we're pretty we're actually pretty much on the same page. Um well the born of, I'm more persuaded like you're probably not born that way. I and there's there is no gene has ever been found. The claims have been made that the gene was found. Those claims have always been proven false. And even um, various studies that show various um, brain patterns, brain formations. Those a, studies I looked seem, up one link. I didn't look up any other proof. Yeah, for just and I had, don't have extensive experience by any by any means. But with the brief experience that I have had in doing the research, those studies seem to be a dime a dozen, whether conservative or liberal. And I'll throw that in there for good measure. Yeah. Whether it's for or against, they seem to be a dime a dozen. So we pretty much we agree that the act is an, is a choice. Um, that What's the act of anything is a choice. Well, or is it prequel to my free will discussion? All right. <laughs> um, and then and then the formation. We don't have a lot of control about of the outside factors, but we should ultimately make choices for ourselves, not let others dictate that. And as far as being born with, I get. I, it's not like I can't say that I don't have any motivation. I've got lots of motivation to say, you're not born that way. You point to a Bible. That, yeah, I'll say, this is the Bible that I point to in so many of my, in so many of my videos, uh, my preaching videos. This is the one I point to. Well used and well worn. I love that thing. New King James. Good stuff. But, so obviously there's a, a bit of a religious motivation in me to say people aren't born that way. Okay. I will segue, and you don't have, no... I lean towards no. Where do you lean? Just for clarification, do you lean towards the? It might be born that way. I or, lean towards they are born that way. But, but neither one have, of us have a, really anything to substantiate that. Claim. Neither of us have proof. That's at this point, that's relatively infallible. You can't prove it right. You can't prove it false. Yeah. I do have a question. Uh, why do you say that people would not be born that way? Why? Would based they like based on what in the Bible? Even if you can't give me a verse, just anything what, specific you can point well, to. Well, that leads right into what I was about to say. Perfect. Biblically speaking, the Bible, what the Bible says is that we're born sinners. Is it possible? Yeah, I'm, I'm being dead serious here. Is it possible to be born a homosexual, a pedophile, a bestialitist, whatever you would want to call those people? Who have sex with animals? Yeah, I know they're fucking weird. Um, I will call them weird. Anyone could someone be born with those problems? I personally don't see why they could not be. I tend to think no. They probably weren't born with that. It was probably something in their formative years that twisted them to this wrong way of thinking, to this wrong desire. Something got messed up. However, since we're born sinners. I do believe it's possible, even though I don't lean in this direction, I acknowledge the possibility that it, being born in a sinful body, sin thoroughly covering us, body, soul, and spirit, all of our parts, with sin covering us that thoroughly, it's very possible not only do we get some physical defects when we were born, we're all born spiritually dead, completely dead. That's why we need Christ. And solically, some things are messed up there too. Could our sexuality be one of those things that is born out of whack? I think it's possible. I so what makes you lean in the direction that it's not what occurs? The reason I lean in the direction that it's not what occurs is simply because, one, there's no scientific proof that there is any such gene. No scientific proof that there isn't. But and number two, and th it, this is purely subjective. Right. Um, my, the readings, the hearings... The friendships I've had with homosexuals, and I haven't had a ton. I will admit that I haven't had a ton, but in most of my experiences, their choice to be homosexual, it it was just that it was a choice. It was a choice. They could have chosen otherwise. Um, one of the things that I point out to you, which is very relevant to your career, people in prison. Um, there's a term "gay for the stay." You want sex? You're horny as fuck. So you find surrounded by men. You find the nearest hole because you want to get off. That is a choice. That is a choice. 
But um, I that I would put that on a different level. Because that's not being gay. That is I need to fuck something. And, and I'll that, say that is more of an urge than a desire. And I, we would both well and we would both agree though that that is purely a choice. Uh, Regard, regardless of your opinion on the whole birth thing, as far as we both agree that sex is a choice regardless. Oh, yes. So people who have gay sex in prison that is completely their choice. Well, it's by having the sex in the first place. Unless it's r- unless it's rape, that's which is which is bad under any circumstances. Yeah. That's their choice, and that's bad. Right. Um, well, I, <laughs> I say it's their choice, and it's bad. Coming from the standpoint that homosexuality is bad. Um, if homosexuality isn't bad, and marriage isn't required prior to marital coitus, um, then it wouldn't matter. And for as far as Wait, pre- what wouldn't matter. Having homosexual sex. Okay, I thought you meant rape, and I was like, oh, ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> that's different. No, 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 but, but con- contrary to popular atheist belief, the Bible does not support rape. It does support take. It does support taking slaves and taking women to be your slaves and what that slavery entails. But the Bible does. There are some questionable the, points. The Bible does very specifically command if you take a woman, a female slave. To be your wife, it's kind of if you, if you take a female slave unto yourself, it's kind of obvious what they're talking about. And the Bible very does explicitly say in Exodus that woman is to be treated as a wife. It, it's very explicit about that. Say, I don't know. Like there, there was a point that I always found questionable. I forgot what verse. I forgot what book this was in. Uh, but I, I do know. remember there was something where there was some kind of war going on. I don't know. And God told the people like, "Hey, go over there and destroy everything." Kill their cattle, burn their crops, murder the father, the mother, the all child. the sons, the children. But if they have any young daughters that have not been touched by a man, take them for yourselves. That sounds kind of rapey. That sounds a little rapey. That <laughs> and it, well, and, and I, I will explain that to you. I'm not going to try to explain that part of the Bible the way it is in there. What I do is I add one plus one to equal two. You have the law telling you how to treat your female slaves. You have a law telling you how to treat um, captives of war. They're not separate from each other. The two laws are put together. You conquer a bunch of people. You kill all the men, um, all the all the non-virgin women, and you kill all the boys and the livestock. You keep just the girls. And burn the crops. And burn the crops. There was burning the crops. There was crop burning. I remember. There was crop burning by individuals. I'm not sure if that was a law. Ah, well, there was crop burning or something. There were times when God said, destroy everything. I assume that includes there, crops. And then there were times when he said, keep the spoil for yourself. But I think more in the t- along spoil the Spoil being virgin women. No. I think more along the lines of the spoil being like physical possessions more than food. Right, like or crops. Shit. And um, so what you do is you combine those two laws. You've, ki- you've killed everyone else. You've kept the young virgin women. And, you, and they are now your slaves. Now, here's how you treat those slaves. I'm not going to try to pretend it doesn't exist. That is in the Bible. But what we have is a system in the Old Testament that tried to uphold some form of human rights. And you didn't see that shit in any other ancient religion of that day. Can you call that human rights? Like, hey. Hold on, dude. Hold on. Like, hey. All right, you take these virgin women. And before you fuck them. At least marry them before you fuck them. Like, at least marry them before you stick it in them against their will. At least put a ring on that thing. That's not... I wouldn't consider that human decency. <laughs> That's... Dude, for that was so far ahead of its time. It, that's not funny at all. Was that the Old Covenant ideal? As a Christian, of course, I would say no. We needed a newer and better covenant. That's why Jesus came. But for, what, for the day it was in, and for what it was worth, it was leagues above any other religion of its day in terms of treating humans right and trying to be fair. And that actually is time for this video. Oh, man, that oh, perfect segue into the next topic. So we're going to wrap it up there. Um, I feel like there may have been one or two points still on homosexuality, and we're going to beat this into the ground. We're going to cover this thoroughly. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you disliked it, hit that dislike button. And if you really liked it, share it with a friend, subscribe, and join the freaks! I love you. God bless.